It's our best bud, your pal and mine, Mr. Priory of Cyan. Excuse me, Mr. Arnaud. Hello, Mr. Knight. I've been meaning to ask you something. And what is that? I've been meaning to ask you about your association with the Priory of Sion. Where did you hear such a thing? A uh, Prince James's man? See, I'm working for Prince James. I came here to see about the kidnapping myself. I see. Well, I'm not really surprised, though I would have expected more polish from Prince James's agents. Ce n'est pas d'importance. You will learn nothing from me. The Priory would never stoop to kidnapping a child. And tell me, what sort of things would the Priory stoop to? I have nothing to say to you about the Priory, Mr. Knight. But whatever you hear from Prince James, remember, it is their side of the story. The Priory is trying to get official permission to excavate in the area, isn't that right? Yes, but so are the Freemasons. Naturally, we have an advantage being French. And what exactly are you planning to excavate? Far more learned ears than yours have been denied that knowledge. Really? Including yours? Have they told you what it is? Really? Quel dupe! Excelsior Montreux, the owner of Chateau de Serras, is he a Priory member too? Not at all. Why? Oh, just wondering. The Priory does have issues with Prince James, though, doesn't it? Political issues? What could you understand about such matters? We have been working for centuries to get the bloodline on the throne of France. Do you know we almost succeeded? Marie Antoinette was the Sposny, and she had a son who would have been king. But the damned revolution ruined everything. Yeah, revolutions can really fuck up your long-term conspiracies. I take it the Priory doesn't like the idea of the Stuarts regaining power? In Scotland, perhaps. Not in France. Not over the European Union. The Habsburg Lorraines are a much more critical line. Besides, we could hardly accept a Scot on the throne. I see your point. Oh, those bagpipes can get annoying. So there really is a treasure? Beyond measure. Well, so why don't you just go in and take it? The Templars lived a long time ago. You don't know where it is, do you? There are certain disadvantages to keeping information in the hands of a chosen few. When the French Revolution occurred, the Abbe here was the guardian. He was forced to flee to Spain. His records were lost for decades. Then Saunier rediscovered them. He was a greedy bastard, and he was tormented by the great secret. He offered fragments of the documents for exorbitant sums. He fabricated and destroyed evidence, and died without revealing what he knew. That's why you've leaked information, isn't it? You hoped someone would solve the riddle for you. There is a season for everything, and the season for the unveiling is coming very soon. One way or another, the treasure will come to light. <sighs> what is it you're so determined to unveil? One day soon, you shall know. Now excuse me, Mr. Knight. Oh, and I do wish you luck in finding the infant.
What a great mound of turpitude. Oh, good afternoon, Mr. Knight. You need to slow down before you hit oil. I appreciate your concern. I'll be finishing up here soon. Nothing, huh? No, not a thing. Does she really need money that badly? Lily's not the sort to live like ordinary people. She was raised to, to shine. Oh, you wouldn't understand. Now, if you'll excuse me. Got it. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney. I don't think I need to scan that into Sydney.
Why would I want to do that? Can we talk about the case for a minute? Of course. I've been thinking about the list of suspects. I haven't been able to pin down everyone yet. Particularly Madeline, Buccelli, and that beanhead Mosley. Yeah, that dining room conversation could have gone better. But I have the feeling that those three aren't involved in the kidnapping. I agree. Prince James and Larry are Freemasons and the Abbey's Priory. I, I don't think the Priory did it. There's just no reason for them to do something so alienating. Whoa, big word. Thanks. I know a couple. So that leaves who? Emilio? Yeah, he's an odd one. Always sneaking around. Plus Lady Howard and Estelle. Psha. I know. But they're hiding something. There's also Montreux. I deciphered Le Serpent Rouge and it showed a red serpent on the map with its tail wrapping right around Chateau de Ceres. It really... well, it's pretty creepy. <sighs> I agree. He's our best suspect at the moment. I'll go check out Ceres again. In the meantime, you keep an eye on Emilio, Lady Howard, and Estelle. All right, but be careful. I need to decide what it is I want to have happen before I talk to her about it. <sighs> I don't want to screw up again. You've made some progress with Sydney, you said? Yeah, I did. Several times. Well, what you find out? Oh, lots of stuff you probably don't care about. But it did help me find an entrance to an underground cave. I think Wilkes was onto it before he died. That does sound promising. Maybe we can go over it later. I have a few last things I want to do first. Sure. Now that is downright rude.
Uh-oh. It's Marceau. The chateau is closed, Monsieur Knight. I noticed. Well, I didn't see a buzzer down at the gate, so I had to come up. Now, I hate to bother y'all, but I'm leaving the area today, and I really need to ask Mr. Montreux just a few more teensy questions. Oh, please. Oh, wait here. My apologies, Mr. Knight. It is a very bad day for visitors. Boy, I've had some of those. This is probably really inconvenient, but I'm leaving France today, and I was hoping to feature Sarah's in my article. You, you, you made quite an impression on me. Did I? Oh, yeah. What I was really hoping was to snack a few more bottles of that Merlot. My editors won't let me give anything five stars unless they've tasted it, and boy, that Merlot deserves five stars. Oh, well then, I, I applaud your taste. Of course I can get you more bottles. I'll have Marceau open the tasting room. Actually, I'm guessing, well, you guys have a, a wine cellar. Am I right? Yes. Could we go down there? and get the wine, it'd make a much more romantic opening for my article. I could just make it up, but as you said yourself, God is in the details. I don't believe I said that, but I couldn't agree more. I'll take you down myself. Oh well, I knew this place would be great. I was reading about those Roman mines they had around here. Does this cellar attach to anything, um, like that? Um, no. Ah, here it is, the 76 Merlot. I've been thinking about what you said, about how the breeding of grapes is like the breeding of people. That is not what I said. Oh, it's a terrific analogy. Maybe even the angle on my new story. So would you say this Merlot is like, say, a king? Of wines, <laughs> or just a gorgeous camp. Look at that! God, am I an idiot? No, please don't bother. It's... Ow! Oh my! Oh, it's nothing. You are asking about the wine? No, not a prince, a little Merlot. Then again, it's not exactly wine in the box either. But yes, it's eminently drinkable. Right. Oh, gosh, look at the time. I, I have that flight to catch. I'll just... I'll... Uh, uh, thanks. Uh, see myself out. <laughs> Guess even vampires have to fix their car. Oh, I don't think a screwdriver is gonna get me out of this. Guess even vampires have to fix their car. A black sedan. I knew it. It would make too much noise.
What's up there? Most sacred. After tonight, the adepts will converge in Cairo. Oh, shit. Voila, Mission Knight. What are you? Look, it's the man from the train. 